If a large scale fight is janky, nobody's gonna play. Delta. I think EQ, yeah, I agree with that, S'mores, and I also think the Wildstar failing. Because Wildstar, I mean, I haven't seen that much hype for an MMO in a long time. Like, that game was being, I mean, oh gosh. It was, at least on Twitch, it was, it was more hype than anything I've ever seen. Like, all these other MMOs that are coming out that get hype, uh, no, Wildstar was... And it was a good game. It had a lot of good things going on. It was a lot better than a lot of these MMOs we're seeing today. But to hardcore. No, I didn't see that post. I saw I saw the post, but I didn't read it about the dev saying what was wrong with their development process. And the housing wild star is why I bought it. The housing was so good. Is that Epsilon? No, Delta. Pretty soon, Delta is going to be full. It's going to get to the point where all of my... All of my obelisk data is going to be full except for Epsilon. Wildstar is still around. Yeah, it's free to play. It's still around. It's 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 hanging on. There's another beta. Like people think, no, it's not dead, man. It's it's like. People think Terra is dead, but they're making money. Like these for these games that go free to play, they, 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 their, their, their whole, their whole business model is around stuff that can sustain them, even if they have like a thousand people playing it. You know, <laughs> they pump out cosmetics and it pays for like months and months of development. Another epsilon. My coffee is nice and cold. Oh, Hercules. That's so good. Okay. I am 10 Epsilon and 7 Sentient Weapon Fragments. No, I didn't even look at the Weapon Fragments. Hold on. That might, that might bite me a little bit. I have oh crap! I don't have enough weapon parts. Wait, does this use weapon parts? This okay? It doesn't use weapon parts. I thought all of them use weapon parts. Okay. Whew. Okay, I got I got worried there. Power cells. I have a ton of power cells. Um, technology components. Ooh, yeah, I barely have enough. I think I'm okay. I got scared there when you said weapon parts because I was like, I might have to go farm some more sentinels. Beta, beta. How come I can't get two epsilon in one scan? They give me betas and alphas. Must have been the Alpha or the other one. I think it's Delta. I'm full on Alpha and Delta. I'm starting to get tired of doing this. So we've got 45 pattern Epsilon out of 78. So we're a little bit past halfway. Or a lot past halfway. 
this is your first time watching ED, you have no idea what's going on. This is my probably 1200th hour of ED, and I have no idea what's going on. Dude, this, this is this is what we call... This is the unpleasant part of some of the grinding. Some of the grinding is fun, because this game is all about grinding. But a lot of it, a lot of things in Elite, you have to reload instances unless... In order to reset zones, because you have to repeat things over and over again. You don't have to reload, but like I, it, but the alternative to what I'm doing right now is that I scan all these obelisks here. I leave and I go to another system or another planet, scan the obelisk there, come back here and hope that they've reset. Um... And, you know, people who refuse to flip instances, that's how they do it. It takes about 10 times as long. And maybe 20 times as long. I don't even know. And uh, it just takes a while to do that like that. Um, and the same is true for like flipping mission boards. People flip mission boards to get better missions and stuff to make more money. It's just one of those things in Elite that happens because of the design. Frontier has officially said they frown on it, but they don't, they won't ban you for it. Two deltas. And it's, it's kind of a controversial thing because some people feel that this method of getting items and, and grinding things is a little bit uh, unfulfilling. But in essence, I could play the entire game and not do this. And I'll be fine. This is just the new hotness. What I'm farming right now. This is the new hotness. And I don't have to get it, but... Batter beta is now full. Okay. What isn't full? It's going to be easier to, to see what isn't full now. So, Delta and Epsilon <laughs> are the only two not full. That makes sense. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. You know, I guess when you go up the alphabet, it becomes more and more rare. Yeah. So Delta and Epsilon are the only ones I'm going to be getting now. There's going to be a lot of full storage messages. Which actually is going to make it easier to recognize Epsilon. So if I don't, if I don't see a full storage, it's probably going to be something I want. See, full storage. But if you're brand new to Elite, there's thousands of hours of potential fun, man. I've just, I'm right now. I'm I'm grinding a new hotness. Delta. Monster Hunter Worlds on sale on Xbox One. Ooh. Bum ba dum ba bum bum. Bum ba dum ba bum bum. Bum ba dum ba bum bum. Bum ba dum bum. You know you want to be doing that. Bum ba dum ba bum bum. Bum ba dum ba bum bum. What's that link, Mimosa? I gotta, I gotta give you permission for that. What is this? Mm, what is this? Fighter Bay Javelin. Fixed shard cannon. Fast and maneuverable. It looks, I'm telling you, man. Look at that. Oh, this guy drew these. Man, it's hard to find pictures. Dude. Dude. I'm trying to tell you, man.
Look at this. Look at this. Look at this javelin. And then look at this. It's like they're almost exactly the same, except this one doesn't have the thing coming out of the bottom. It's, they're, they're very, it's very similar. It's very like sharp geometric shapes, just like the dredge in Titan A, man. Ooh. Yeah. I'm curious to hear how you fell in love with Monster Hunter on PC and you had a hard time powering through on PS4. I, I'll tell you that story. Like the hit, hit, go. Okay. The, the, the wall on PS4 was the Rathian footprints. So the goal of the Rathian footprints on PS4 was to gather enough intel so that you can get information about Pink Rathian, right? In order to kill him or whatever so on ps4 i was going into that zone and i was running around and i was doing nothing but looking up footprints just picking up footprints and I, I i just do the i was waiting for the footprints to respawn and i run around for hours picking up footprints and that's how i was doing it and i got sick of it and i left i got the pc and i got this beacon of knowledge ah, from chat they said buona you don't you don't have to pick up a single footprint. What? That's correct, Buona. All you have to do are optional quests in that zone, and you'll get credit for it. <laughs> what? That's it. So that's what happened. And I did the optional quest, and I didn't have to pick up a single footprint. And then I got past it. Easy. And it was fun because I was killing monsters. So that's what that's how it happened, man. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, man. So I'm addicted to it now. I'm hardcore addicted to Monster Hunter. I even got the, uh, the, the Switch version. I'm hardcore addicted to that game. Hardcore. Epsilon. Woo! We did it. Yeah, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is on the Switch. It's not Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, which is a remake of the 3DS version, Monster Hunter Generations, um, which is a more traditional Monster Hunter game than Monster Hunter World is. And I'm starting to learn the differences. But I haven't played Generations yet. I've, I've, I've tried to set it up like I was I already installed it and everything and I was trying to get all of my stuff over from my 3DS version and it all wasn't coming over. I think I was just misinformed on what because all the Palicos, like the bonus Palicos I got on the 3DS, they won't when I transfer my data, they don't come over. I did it twice, like I saved the data, I make sure they were on the 3DS, I made sure I could access them and I could I transferred the data to the switch from the 3DS and the Palicos aren't there. So I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, that was, that was the demo Jubilus was trying, yep. That was the demo. I keep leaving because I'm resetting the instance so that this obelisk will reset and I'm scanning it trying to get called it's, it's called pattern epsilon uh, data and I need it for the new fighters that just came out. I need 78 of them and they're not guaranteed. So you, when you leave and come back in it resets and I just have to keep scanning the same obelisk. 
over and over again. Hopefully, I'll get it. You have zero hip? <laughs> oh, gosh. I started out with three. When I started today, I had three. And now I'm up to, what, 40? Pattern Epsilon. I have 48 now. So 30 more to go. <laughs> and by, while doing this, I filled up on Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And I, I'm almost, I'm probably going to fill up on Delta before I fill up on Epsilon. So I'm going to be set on the Pattern Alpha data. Or I mean the Pattern obsolet, Obelisk data. But at least 78 total for uh, for the new ships. Or the new fighters, I should say. Imagine if you could... Yeah, man. If there was like a data trader for this. Ooh. That was all my... I'd be done right now. If that was the case. It's kind of a flaw in the design of a game. You can do that, isn't it? Yes. It is a flaw in the design. Yeah, I agree. The way they design the game is that solo, private, and open, well, I used to say solo, private, slash, open, have separate, like, instances for mission boards and instance data and stuff like that. So when you log in and out, nothing is retained in terms of the state of the instance. And there's some there's some uh, some exceptions to that case but you can refresh mission boards by doing this you can refresh instances kill something come back kill it again come back kill it again and it's just the way the game is designed um and like i said in the beginning frontier they frown upon mission mission board flipping or session flipping, they frown upon it, but they said they don't ban they won't ban you for it. Because honestly, there's like no way they can stop people from doing it, because it's it's this the design of the game. I'm not doing anything exploity. I'm not like hitting all F4, killing the process, and I, I'm just logging in and out. Is <laughs> is it's part of the game design, so it's I can understand why they wouldn't ban people for it. Okay, that's Delta. And honestly, I don't like doing it. You know, if I could avoid this in a reasonable time frame and, and get what I needed to get done in a reasonable time frame, I had to do that. But in order to avoid this flipping, I would have to scan all these, leave the system or leave the planet, go to another planet in the system, which has a different pattern for uh, Obelisk, go around, scan those, come back to this one and then scan this and that amount of time i probably get like 10 scans rather than doing this i probably get like 50 scans um so i i, I don't exploit in games but i have no problem doing this there's a lot of things in this game that that basically clear my conscience to say i'm doing i'm flipping boards i'm flipping it because the amount of stuff you have to grind for certain things is objectively high. So I have no problem doing that. I just got another obelisk, uh, another epsilon just now. And that is another epsilon. So I just got two epsilons. So that's six epsilon scans. You get three epsilons per scan if you get it. See, I, I'm, I'm hoping these are good, cause if the if the fighters turn out to be bad, and I did all of this, if if I like, here's the thing with Buona, there's a lot of alternatives in this game. There's a lot of different things you can do, and if the if the new fighters turn out to be worse than the old ones, I wouldn't even be doing this. Like I would just I would just skip it. And I don't I'm not, I, I've been asking chat, they don't know. Um, but if these new fighters are worse than the old, or if they're just like clever side grades, then I would stop doing this right now. You know. Reliance Saber, thanks for the host. Or, I'm sorry, thanks for the raid. 
And yeah, like everything Guardian tech base is like good against Thargoids, which I like hunting Thargoids. So to me, that would be a that would be a use for it, you know. That would be a use for it. Because I like hunting Thargoids. It's fun. But I've never really hunted Thargoids with fighters. I only use fighters as a distraction. When I'm when I was solo in a Cyclops and stuff with a ship that had a fighter, the fighter would just with no stupid Thar the baby Thargoids, whatever they're called. I was just using my ship to distract them while I ran, you know. And it would just blow up. Just as a distraction. Cause they, they don't really tank Thargoids very well. Uh, what are my thoughts on Cyberpunk 27.7? It sounds incredible on paper. Um, for my channel, though, I'm afraid it might be a little bit too mature. Because I'm a family-friendly channel. But it looks like CD Projekt Red put a lot of thought, time, and effort into every little aspect of that game to where it's almost... It's almost, like, unbelievable. Because I watched the demo. I listened to the, I listened to the narration and stuff. And... I was like, wow, <laughs> they really put a lot of thought into this game. And that was just one quest that we were looking at. That was that was a mind blowing thing. Just one quest. And it was like probably eight or nine different parts of that quest where you could have made a different decision where it would have changed the outcome, which is really good RPG game making. But sadly, I think the game is just just the cyberpunk universe is too adult for my stream. Um. Not just the nudity, not in, in, in the extreme violence and stuff, because there's going to be a lot of extreme violence, too. But it's just I think just the whole theme of the game is is a dark future, a really dark and cutthroat rated M.A. future. And that's how they designed the game. But I'm a family friendly stream, so I don't think it'll fit here. I'm going to I'm going to keep my eye on it because I really like what they're doing with it. Um. I'm going to keep my eye on it. If they do put some stuff in to where I can still play it on the stream and, you know, keep it family friendly, I'll play it. Would I enjoy it off stream? No, no. That's a game I want to play while streaming. I can't play. I don't play RPGs off stream. I have to play it with you guys. I can't play by myself. I need I need I need my audience. Like I can grind stupid stuff like this off stream and I can do I can play Monster Hunter and stuff off stream because that's not really RPG if you ask me. Same with Warframe, I have no problem doing that off stream. But like a full RPG, I have to stream that stuff. Time to start Alter Con. Well, see, the reasons why my fam my channel is family friendly is not just because of that, it's because of who I am. Like there's certain things the values of this channel reflect me so the things that i don't do on the stream are what i don't really do in real life so i don't that's not a game i would play off stream either um like i had i had issues like that's why i don't play doom that's why i don't play gta i mean those are games i can play off stream but it's just my channel is a reflection of me it just happens to be family friendly so there is no raunchy buona this is this is what you see is what you get I mean, it'd be, be kind of hypocritical for me to have a family-friendly channel and I leave and start cursing and start slicing up people in different games and stuff, you know. That's just not who I am. And I don't, I don't try to diss other channels that do that. I mean, people want to watch that stuff, so they can go watch it there. But that's just not this channel. This feels about as raunchy as it can get. Hey, we got another episode. Where are we at, man? We should be in the 50s or 60s by now. Please. How many do I have? Uh, pattern. 63. Oh, we're so close. We're not that close, but we're closer. Buona okay is a reflection of me. That's a reflection of no male. <laughs> I could make that goofy face if I tried hard enough. I'd probably pull a muscle. Would you consider making an M-rated Buona spinoff channel? No, no, I wouldn't do that. I, like I said, I wouldn't. That's not me. 
I don't I don't do adult stuff like that. I just in real life. Like I could barely I mean, I can watch other streamers that are, you know, mature and stuff like that and even after a while that kind of gets to me. Like I could barely watch like R-rated films. You know, I just that's just something I don't do. How many do I need? 78. 78. Do you feel you're missing out or are you satisfied with how the channel is without it? No, I don't feel like I'm missing out. I mean, I wouldn't be living like this if I weren't comfortable with it. So it's it's natural for me. And people who've known me for a long time, they know that. And it's just, nah, Buona's not going to play that. <laughs> like even with, um, what was it? What was our game? Uh... I forgot what it was. It was a game we had. It, it was when I, I tried to do Sub Sunday. I think it was Prison Architect. Yeah, it was Prison Architect. This is this is uh, this is true. People voted for Prison Architect, so we played it. And I had no clue this was there. I think the people who played it and voted for it didn't know it was there. But like the game started out with a rape scene, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And I turned it off. I was like, I ain't playing this. I didn't want to, I didn't want to play it anymore. I was like, I'm not playing this. And everybody was shocked. They were like, I didn't know they put that in the game. I, it, it, I was like, what is this? What does this have to do with Prison Architect? It made no sense to me. I was like, I thought I was just going to be managing a prison and, you know, making sure nobody escapes and, and, and do it. I didn't know I was going to have that in the beginning. <laughs> That's why I agreed to it. And that, and that was the last sub Sunday born I did. I was like, nope, I ain't doing them no more. No, but it, it was a rape scene that had nothing to do. It was like, it had nothing to do with being in prison. It was like some outside thing. I was like. I had no clue. I was like, I thought this was a simulation game. I thought it was a top-down simulation game, chat. And everybody was like, I didn't know that was there. <laughs> it completely threw me off. I was just looking like... And some people, that, uh, that they brushed it right off. But it's just, I'm just different, you know. That's just me. And again, I don't dis I don't disrespect or diss people who do show that stuff, you know, it's, it's their prerogative. Come on, Epsilon. Okay, yes. I'd rather scan obelisk chat. That's this stream. I'd rather log in and out of a game and scan an obelisk over and over again. That's family friendly. I'm okay. Okay, so is it a trick to get specific data from those? Or cargo you have to make it a better chance? It's purely luck. It is pure RNG. It is pure RNG. There is nothing I'm doing that can increase my chance increase my chance of getting Epsilon. Nothing. It's just all about repetition and quantity of scans that I'm going on. I'm getting maximum amount of quantity. <laughs> it's like there's nothing I can do. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Another Epsilon. I think I only need like five more. Maybe four. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that's that's like four epsilons in a row. We got to be close. It's like watching a it's like watching a, a, a pot of water boil. Don't check it. Oh, 75. That means I only need one more.